I have never smelled something so bad in my entire life. Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I will be covering things that no one tells you about living in Lakeside and also some things that you could bring if you are living in a sweet style dorm. If you are new, hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you guys. Number one, the one thing that I actually did not know about this dorm is that it's a frat dorm. I came in and during rush week I was like only eight other girls like moved in into lakeside during rush week i was like what is going on and then during the actual like normal time to move in like after like rush week is done and everybody can move in there was just guys everywhere and i'm looking around i'm like i didn't know this was a rat door we also call it big side if you don't understand that it's okay don't want to get um youtube in trouble but um yeah so this is actually like filled with guys and did not know that. I just thought Lakeside was just another like press dorm, but just L-shaped. Lakeside is not the cleanest dorm. I will insert some pictures here of just like ranch on the ground. I've seen some panties, I've seen holes, I have seen the furniture upside down. Like guys, it, it was insane. Like I love taking photos of it because I'm like, this is just freshman memories, you know what I mean? So Lakeside definitely isn't the cleanest. Uh, it smells so bad like uh, oh my gosh I have never smelled something so bad in my entire life I walked in like that first time I moved in I was like oh this is gonna be great the boys moved in I was like what the f the boys moved in and I was like why does this smell so bad like I'm spraying the breeze I'm like <sighs> and they walk down and they're like oh my god the Febreze I'm like yeah can we make it smell good in here during the like first month of school, no matter if you're on the first floor or the fourth floor, you will have a party outside of your window. I thought that this was never going to end, but there was always a party outside of my window from like, I don't know, 9 p.m. to like 2 a.m. in the morning. Just everybody out there talking and stuff. And you got somebody with a microphone saying, go home. <laughs> And I thought I was like, oh my god, this is going to be hell. Like, I don't want to live here. But they ended up clearing up and they just migrated to their rooms, which for me, it wasn't that big of a deal because I was at the end of the hall and also at the end of the hall in my dorm, like the L shape. So I didn't really hear any of it. But guys definitely love to play their music loud in their living room. I will go ahead and say that now. The location of the lakeside is actually great. West, you have to walk a little bit better, like more, but east is literally like you have Lakeside Dining and then you're right there. So you don't have to walk like a crosswalk like you do for Riverside or Press. Like it's literally just so convenient and so amazing. And it's like a three minute walk to the Ferg. I love the location. That's why I wanted Lakeside. Lakeside was actually my top choice. I ended up getting Lakeside. Maybe if I knew it was a dorm, front dorm, might have really thought that. But I still love it. Like, yeah, there's going to be cons for every single dorm, but in general, I really do love living here. Another pro would just be my own room. Like, I hear t stories about, you know, the mold and all of that. Luckily, we don't have any of that, but like, to be able to have my own room and my own space is literally amazing. So, I'll take the loud music just to have my, uh, my own space. Another thing, I don't know what number I'm on. Like I've, I've done lost track. My brain just, whew. but the stairwells, if you just don't take the end of the hallway stairwells, if you're going to take a stairwell, just walk into the middle of the common room and then walk down the stairwells because there's always something in the stairwell. Puke, I mean clothes, like they're, uh, uh, I can't like it for a while, the stairwell, somebody puked in it. That stairwell was done for the rest of the semester. I didn't walk down it until I came back from for the second semester. I was like, maybe I'll try it. And those clean I was like, okay, we're fine. But oh my gosh, guys. Ugh. This might not be a hassle for you guys. It might just be the annoying boys that I have in my dorm. But I'll just be like laying in bed, you know, at like 10, 11 o'clock, getting ready to wind down. Power goes out. And me and my roommate, Ella, we walk outside and we're like, 
the boys flip off our freaking generator whatever it's called like the light switch thingy so we had to walk outside of the dorm into our like hallway that connects all of our rooms and switch it back on because they think it's funny to go in and switch it off for us so that is something that i've had to deal with i've dealt with it like four times it's not that bad but they just think they're just so hilarious like you're not funny something else is that it's a walk to the sorority house I walk fast personally like I could get there within like minutes but it is a walk to the sorority house so if you're like really thinking about being big into your sorority like I am whew, guys it's a walk but something that they don't tell you is there is a bus if you go into the Paseo Go app people are so confused by the app and I'm like girl like it's not that like bad you go to the app you go to the residential bus and that residential bus takes you from Lakeside well, you go to Lakeside Dining and that's where you get on the bus. And they'll take you to Reese Pfeiffer, which is near like Theta and AL Pi and Kappa Kappa Gamma, all of those types of sororities. And they also take you straight in front of Tut. So they take you to like, say, um, no, sorry, Zeta, Phi Mu, Sigma Kappa, like all of those. I have used that bus system so much because there's just be like time where I'm in my room and I'm like, oh, I gotta go get dinner. I don't feel like walking. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like burning off something and then eating it again i'd just rather just not do that so i look at my patio go app I'm like okay there's a little arrow to show where the bus is and i'm like okay the bus is near press i walk downstairs and i'm on the bus and then it takes me straight in front of tut and the cinema cap is right in front of tut well for you guys the tut will be off the side but the old tut it was right in front of cinema kappa so it was literally amazing for me use a bus if you're in a sweet sour dorm trust me it is so convenient. Just don't take it back home, walk home. Because taking the bus from Tut or Reese Pfeiffer all the way back to your residential place, oh, it's like a 20 minute drive. So don't take it back home, but take it from your place to your sporty house. That's a tip. A few things that bring an air purifier. I did not realize this, but I have gotten sick a lot. Like my immune system is literally amazing. I'm three years strong of not getting COVID. Uh, a flex sorry but that is a flex um so my immune system is amazing and ever since i came to college like i've gotten sick a lot a lot and i was like oh maybe it's just like my air or something because a lot of girls were saying that tut the mold the air was getting them sick so i was like oh my god it's me too like i need an air purifier i got one that actually helped like i didn't realize that like how bad my air was now it's like obviously like on the green like the the best thing ever but it's it's amazing that like how much air purifier has helped me so if you're interested in getting clean air get an air purifier it does not literally guys it does not take that much room like if i come over here oh there's my air purifier blue means is is the best quality ever so definitely invest in getting a air purifier because i love it now i'm all crooked like also for some reason my roommates love to chill me out to where i'm an ice cube so i during this holidays where it was cold in alabama i had a heater i would wake up boy my toes would be frozen i'd be like Ugh. so i bought a heater and that helped me a lot i feel like this kind of goes with like a lot of dorms but definitely get a hamper some like laundry soap get even a coloring book like y'all think i'm lying but stay with your laundry this is something that i never knew because i never had a problem with this but at the beginning of the first semester especially for tut girls girls have been stealing blue lemon stealing clothes all of that if you live in Langside, i mean the guys aren't gonna walk around prancing with like you know a lulu skirt this is my Lulu, Lulu shorts, but uh, they're not going to walk around prancing in like your Lulu shorts, but still stay with your clothes because there is some girls that still stay here and you never know what they might do, but you have to stay with your clothes when you wash them. So bring your computer, do homework, or bring a coloring book and like color, you know, like whatever you, whatever your interest is. Read a book. I don't know. It doesn't take long. I think it's about like 30 minutes of wash and then depending on how long you want to dry, but one thing that I would say is that the guys leave their clothes there for like ever. Like you, if a dryer is done, you just have to move their clothes and just set it somewhere. And they won't get it for like the next day. Like it's so nasty, but it's what you gotta do. Definitely lots of extension cords. Okay, so I'll show you one of the things that I bought for my dorm because I never even realized, but like you need a lot of plug-in space. So I got one of these 
and it's not really it's only holding my straighten iron and my air purifier for right now but like it's actually amazing because you have these two and then you have two more on the side and then also just some like other types of usb chargers it's amazing because i am a vlogger and a photographer so i have to film or i have to charge like my cameras i have like you know different types of like hair things i need to plug in oh my gosh it is useful i know it might i don't know how much that was but i got it from target literally buy it i need extension cords like over here i'll show you like it's a mess but like look at how much stuff i have plugged in obviously that's not plugged in but like here's for my mirror and then i have like my um computer charger that's for like my little like uh showy thing over here and all of that so extension cord will be worth it and even if you really need to like a long extension cords are very worth it too because like for me i have to plug in my computer from this extension cord over here and then have to have like this long like cord of my big old box computer thing whenever i'm using my computer on my bed because i'm not gonna sit on my desk like 24 7 no i'm gonna sit and lay in my bed and be like comfortable so it is really annoying so i would say get like a long extension cord that you could probably hide behind like your bedside table or something so then it's like more convenient if you want to do work on your bed speaking of work on your bed i would prefer getting one of these i got this from amazon it pink is pink as it matches my room but you just lay this on your bed so like if you want to do work you're able to like sit on your bed and do it so it's not sitting on like the, the covers and then like your computer's overheating and crap like that and you can also like be able to write on it and all and you can also just be lazy and lay in bed and like watch some tv if you want so that is also very useful i would say buy that as well definitely buy um what i say oh command strips um command strips warning will tear the paint off your walls you could just take a paint chip take it to lowe's or home depot and they'll match the paint for you so you can just repaint it's what i have to do when i move out in two weeks oh, i have to move out in two weeks for my freshman door that's crazy but command strips have been doing amazing for me nothing has fell besides my curtains over there they fell in multiple times fell in fall in multiple times but command strips are amazing or if you want to hold up like a flag something like i have right here i just use push pins like i just put a push pin at the end of the like flag into the flag and then into the flags and then it holds it up so also why does my like notes look so weird also hooks for clothes so if you can kind of see over there it's like a little hook so if you want to like i don't know hook something up real quick rather than putting it up for your closet you're able to hook it up or if like you have a specific like shirt that you sleep in you might sleep in it for like two nights and then switch it out or whatever you're able to just hook your clothes and then be good to go something else is that your desk does not have any drawers i will show you so this is basically what the desk looks like i mean you have like this so you can extend it obviously this is like wallpaper that i put on my desk to make it look pretty but no drawers so what i did is i made a shelf so that i can able to hold things you can see little mo from wally over here and then mater and then i got like cinderella castle and crap but yeah this has been really helpful since i do not have any drawers that i can still hold my stuff overall that's kind of just like the things that like lakeside has an offer and things that you should probably consider bringing when you come there's a lot of space in here like girl i could choreograph a whole entire dance in the space like it there's there's a lot of space like don't worry about space like i've got a whole shelf right here all of that um but yeah that's basically all that i have to offer if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like comment down in the section down below if you have any questions i will answer them for you anything you have so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in another video bye Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic